Right, uh, today I'm going to show how to make a uh, mandir, it's kind of a shrine. Uh, the main things you need would be uh, a 2x2, two 2 two, two feet by 2 feet uh, plank, which is a plywood uh, and uh, I've got like 18 inch by 18 inch and 12 inch by 12 inch and uh, uh, 6 inch by 6 inch. These are the three uh, plywoods. This is uh, half inch thickness plywood and uh, uh, the one which I'm trying to use for the base is uh, a 3 fourth which is a little thick and strong and you need four main pillars kind of a thing. These are mo mostly like legs. You can find it. Everything you can find it in Home Depot. And these are the small legs, uh, they go in the bottom and uh, I'm trying to make a draw, uh, so that's why I got this. And this is some sort of decorative items and uh, if you see, uh, this is, these are the trims I'm, I'll be using uh, so that it looks good. And this is another decorative item I'm gonna use for this project. So. Uh, let me dive and show you how to do this. trying to add the steps here uh, I'm trying to make some uh, markings based on the measurements um, so um, once we do this it's easy like you just start um, placing the tiny legs here and then try to nail it um, I'm using gun nail gun it's a 18 18 gauge brad nail brad nailer uh, you don't have to use this, you can just use regular nails, um, finished nails, and you can use the hammer. Since it's a little bit faster, I'm trying to use this uh, nail gun since I already have it. So it's totally optional. Uh, don't get intimidated with the nail gun here. So um, you can do this or you can try to 
uh, make the steps first and then place the steps on top of this so i am trying to go in a reverse uh, it's not a reverse i'm try trying to go from bottom to top but uh, you can make the steps and then after making each step you can just place them and uh, glue them even glue is glue works well here uh, i'm just nailing everything uh, but uh, you don't have to nail once you try to place it because uh, the weight will hold and the glue will be quite enough. Uh, I'm just using the nails because it's a little bit more uh, strong and steady. You don't have to, so uh, just a good idea there. Definitely for this step, first one uh, you might need the nails because it's a little bit uh, uh, heavy, uh, it has to hold. From the second and third or fourth step you don't have to because uh, uh, it will just hold on the weight and you, you don't need any nails but I just add nails because it's a little bit more uh, sturdy and strength, add strength. saying it's totally optional uh, to use nails glue for sure you need glue so that it sticks well here um, you don't have to nail here so it just uh, stands on it and uh, sticks well I just add it so that it will be more sturdy but uh, you don't have to so uh, nails are totally optional here
here i'm trying to add uh, another additional trim so that it uh, uh, it's a 3/4 inch it's exactly 3/4 and it uh, it just covers this 3/4 uh, plywood so that it looks good so uh, everything you can find it in home depot or uh, lowes so uh, there is nothing custom here so uh, i'm just adding this trim so that it looks good around that here i'm trying to add this fence uh, around it's a decorative item you can find it in both home depot or lowes or any uh, hardware store um so uh, it's totally optional uh, it depends if you like this fence you can add it or you can just leave it uh, but uh, you can just do it by the glue uh, just glue it and it it's, uh, it uh, sticks i typically go uh, additional step and uh, add nails to it but uh, you don't have to nail it so uh, this is another decorative thing which uh, you can be creative and add something else too so uh, this is totally optional step Now I'm trying to uh, make a uh, draw here. Uh, if you don't have power tools uh, it's a little bit tough but uh, if you have power tools you can try this
straw is a little bit tricky. You need to add the mounts on both sides and then place them on, to on uh, two studs and then place the whole uh, shrine or mandir on top of it. Um, make sure it is aligned well so that uh, it is not stuck and uh, place it in the center. Check if it is equidistant from both the legs here. And, that may, and then nail it. Before nailing, you need to test all this. Uh, once you're good, you can nail it. Nail them uh, to the bottom of the shrine and uh, it should be good. Um, here is the final, here is the look before the paint, uh, how it looks. Okay, uh, here is the final look after painting. I just painted bright uh, with the cream color so that it looks good uh, because I have a dark background. If you have a bright uh, walls, you, you can go with the dark color. So uh, I added these four uh, finials, uh, you can call. You can find them in uh, Hobby Lobby or even Amazon. Uh, this one you can find it in Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, so um, the decorative items, I think my, my wife added them. Uh, and uh, uh, you can add a, a light like this you can find it in home depot lows as well you can stick it and then add a light so that uh, it's bright and uh, yeah uh, this is how the final uh, shrine or mandir looks and uh, uh, if it helps uh, that would be great so uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day bye bye